Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Caucasian Mark here, white student on the internet. And today, we're talking about opacity. Now, opacity is how much visibility an object uh, on your screen may have. In this case, an element. Um, I'll just say object. You know, I'll just refer to whatever this may be. Today, we're going to be focusing uh, on the P tag here. So, I lost a jar of pig's feet. I also like to poop because I don't know. <laughs> if you haven't seen this in any of my previous videos, I was doing something and then got distracted and I was typing this out and then I forgot to remove it because I didn't know what to say because I was practicing something and got distracted. So um, yes, yeah, so you have that there. So if it seems immature, it is whatever. But hey, if it's immature and I'm the one giving you the wisdom on how to do CSS, then I guess the script has been flipped as they say. But opacity is pretty neat stuff. So let's just give this zero opacity. I'm gonna show you how this works. Bam, gone, disappears. Um, no one will ever see you again. So I guess um, you know if you run away from your family and they don't see you, you have the opacity of zero. No, that's a bad joke. It just means that the um, visibility of it is set low. Um, 0.5 is 50%. So it looks like it's there, but it's faded, but not fully. Um, so what we need to keep in mind here is the minimal value is zero and the max value is one right here. So if we set this here, so you may be thinking to yourself, Mark, you know, why do I need to make the opacity one? It isn't just automatically given um, that it is one when I, you know, type out my header or P tab or whatever the heck else it may be. Yeah, but you may have an animation later or maybe some script that you're writing where you make things um, just kind of pop out and appear on your page. So it's just a tool given in concert with other tools to give you more flexibility. And also, um, I don't know why I'm exactly doing this, but if you have like Internet Explorer from six billion years ago, let me check over here. It's a IE8 or earlier, you're gonna wanna do this. So you're gonna come in, alpha, I don't know why it's doing that there, opacity, equals 100 and this right here like I said is for the um, Internet Explorer 8 and earlier now um, I wouldn't really worry about that because odds are if you're using you know CSS or doing whatever uh, most people will have an updated version of Internet Explorer um, if you have to go in, you know, to use the filter like I just typed out, but the opacity should just be fine. Um, majority of people um, do not use, well, I say a lot of people use Internet Explorer. I just hate it, so um, I kind of dis, uh, disregard all the needs that they have. But this is opacity. It goes from 0 to 1. You can even type 0, all this out here. And it's, you know, still a varying degree, you know, under 50%. So that's it. Uh, feel free to play around with it. Um, show your friends all the other good stuff. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, contribute, email me a beer, whatever it may be. Uh, have a good one. See ya.